Hello and welcome back. I'm Nicole, a cottage witch, and today I'm doing my March deck wrap up. So the last couple months, well, this year really, I've been trying to do the capsule collection that Cozy Core Craft and Huga Tarot are doing. And this month I kind of sort of did, but didn't entirely follow the rules. I've been really good at following the rules in January and February, less so in March. So, first of all, the theme was plant the seed, and I've got a grand total of one deck that actually fits the theme of the month. Um, although I have planted some seeds this month, they're cute. Um, and uh, the idea is that you buy one deck a month, I think you can have one study deck, and then you're supposed to keep it to four decks, two tarot, two oracle, that can sort of mix and match with each other like a capsule collection would. Um, yeah, kind of. So I have two study decks this month. One is one that I made myself, which is this one. It, I haven't really given it a name. It's a herbalism sort of study deck because on the backs of the cards I've got, I mean, I've assigned them all tarot, so it is a tarot deck. But I've, I'm trying to learn the Latin name. So I've got the common name, the Latin name, associations, and then um, traditional hardware uses. And some I need to fill out. So I'm these are my notes. I'm redoing, like making myself a second edition, I guess, because I found some mistakes. Um, and I've found that I want to do a few cards differently. So, um, yeah, that's my plant study deck and these are all pictures mostly that I've taken myself of plants either in my garden in the case of calendula or and also no tansy's not in my garden is that tansy yeah it is um that'll be down by the river the yarrow is in my garden though and the wild strawberry so yeah that was my one of my study decks the other one was I read Camellia Elias, and I read uh, Roger Horn, I believe, his book on folk cardamancy. And so I've been using the Seventh Sphere Marseille, which is really cute and kind of spring, but it doesn't, doesn't really have anything to do with <laughs> planting the seeds or anything, but uh, oops, as none of the rest of the decks do. Um, so this was my other study deck because it's beautiful. It's one of a grand total of two um, Marseille decks that I've got at the moment. The other being the Feathers, feathers wait, Medieval Feathers Tarot that I just got like a week ago <laughs> as I'm filming this. And um, I think I'll maybe use that next month because it's got keywords on it, which might help with the pips because that's still, I still don't have those all like memorized or anything, so. Yeah, but this one is, I really love this deck. It works really well, and it's, I think it's really pretty. And it's got some sparkle in the majors and really beautiful gilding. It just, it feels nice to use this one. So that's fun. Also, I don't know, how is this showing up? I guess I should have checked my lighting situation because I'm clear out of natural lighting. So hopefully this will work because, um, Time and energy management are fun, and some days I suck at them, and today is one of those days, because I meant to be filming this like three hours ago. Anyway, the next decks that I've been using all together are, one, one is actually a deck I got this month, and um, they are the Craft Decadence Oracle, which is this little collage deck that you can get on Make Playing Cards. No, not make playing cards, the other one, Game Crafters. Um, the Abaton Keys, which is the one I got this month. Um, and, oh, nudity warning, in this, not the Abaton Keys, in the Abyssal Tarot. So I've been using these all together. I mean, in various combinations, not all three at the same time necessarily, although sometimes. And, uh, yeah, it just, it's kind of, it's weird 
it's definitely a weird, I mean, they're all sort of weird decks <laughs> individually, but in combination, they're just like, bring on the weird, I guess, which this is a kind of weird that works for me. Oh, why is that one upside down? <coughs> uh, so yeah, I've been really having a lot of fun with this and uh, trying to get to know these because I haven't used the Abyssal Tarot before really at all before this month or the, have I used the Craft Evidence before this month? Not much, I don't think. Not much, a little bit maybe. Um, it's probably my favorite. It's one of my favorite collage decks ever. It's super cute and cool and weird and it's got really good keywords and phrases and things. Um, the Abitoin Keys is based on, oh no, I always forget, some Greek dream situation. Um, the ancient Greek healing temples, uh, the god of healing, and people would go and travel there to fall asleep and be healed in their dreams, basically, is, is this deck. And the little guidebook is actually really good. It's got four different suits and it's really well thought out and uh, yeah it's it's a good one I like it um, I've only been using it for like two weeks <laughs> but I like it um, and then the the abyssal tarot is this is art card paper so you do have to be quite careful when when shuffling because you could bend it quite easily um, and uh, yeah, but it's it's one of these underwater photography decks, so everything's a bit distorted. But like, they work for me together uh, in strange and interesting ways. So it was not a boring month, I will say that. Um, definitely not boring. Uh, so these have been a lot of fun, I don't know. I've got some other decks I want to try next month, so I might, I don't know if I'll keep using them or not. I might keep using these two, the, the two collage decks, but I don't know. I don't, time, again, is a factor, um, as in there's not enough of it, so. Uh, yeah, that's the first three, and then I went over the four that you're supposed, supposed to, you know, whatever. Um, if I was following the rules properly, which we established that I'm not. So I wanted to use the Bonefire Tarot because I've never really used it before. And uh, I got, this is the first edition. It's mass market, but it, they came out with a second edition and it had been on my list for a while. And so I finally decided to get the first edition because I didn't know if it'd be harder to get once the second edition came out and I like it better, so. Yeah, um, but I love Gabby Angus West's artwork. I have her other little oracle deck, The Weird of Sarah Howard and The Tarot Avatara, and love both of them so much. Um, her artwork is just so incredible and mesmerizing. And there's always something new to find with this, with the, any of the decks. Um, and then the oracle that I've been pairing it with is the Earthly Souls and Spirits Moon Oracle, which I got, I think, last fall? Did I get it last fall? That seems right. Is this too shiny now? These are slightly shiny cards. Hopefully there's not too much reflection. Um, yeah, you can sort of tell it's a little, a little bit shiny. Oh well. Um, but they've been, uh, interesting together they I don't know it works for me it's a month of weird combinations of things just just a month of weird uh, maybe I should have used the weird of Sarah Howard oh well um, yep lost what I was gonna say all together it's gone it's gone now <laughs> um, anyway I really like both of these, and I've used both of them very little. Um, but they kind of work together. Um, at least for me. So, 
that's been fun. I think probably I won't keep working with these next month just because there are other other decks I want to try. Um, when it hopefully gets more spring-like. There's like a foot of snow outside at the moment. Um, hopefully that will melt this weekend, next week. I don't know. It's, when is it? Almost the end of March as I'm filming this. We've got a couple days to go. And, uh, yeah, but this is more, a bit more summery to me. So I don't know why I feel like using it this month. I just did. I, maybe because it was, it snowed again. Again. We needed the water, but also it's March now. Like, could, could it have snowed more in January? <laughs> um, apparently not. So I just need a little color and vibrancy, I think, is what happened. Um, once the snow started coming down again and it got cold out again because it was getting quite spring-like for a while there and then nah, not so much changed its mind as it'll do a couple of times throughout the spring uh, also climate change is making things weird and the El Nino is making things weird so it's just it's a weird weird weather spring and it's very brown and gray and all the snow that was pretty is now slushy, muddy, gunk. Um, so, <laughs> a little bit of color was uh, kind of a nice reprieve, I guess, from that. So that is my March. I've been really bad at remembering what month we're in. I have to think about that uh, more often <laughs> now, I guess. Um, yeah, those are my decks for March for my capsule-ish sort of capsule collection. Um, I will link the original video down below. It's very fun to watch, so go watch that, I guess. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.